In this video, you will discover the five reasons why men act wishy-washy. Hi, I'm Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, if you are new to my channel, comment, like, and subscribe so you get notified for more juicy videos coming your way. So let's go ahead and dive right in. <clears throat> Number five why a man acts wishy-washy is because he has a dismissive avoidant attachment style. You see, what happens when a man has a dismissive avoidant attachment style is he can only endure, so to say, so much intimacy, so much closeness. As a matter of fact, the closer he gets to a woman, the more dangerous it feels to him. This, of course, comes from his natural wounding when he was a child and his parents were not responding to him, but he was hoping they were responding to him. So he actually feels the more he hopes, the more he gets connected, the more he trusts other people, the more he's going to get disappointed and it's going to go through a, way, a prolonged phase of this pair. Now, if you, how do you know when you're dealing with a dismissive avoidant attachment style? Is there is this inconsistent communication? And you know, I met lots of those men along my own dating path before I met, of course, my lovely husband Brody. And you know, and this is the thing, right? It's really like there's nothing that you can do about it, right? Like they were acting wishy washy. They were like not. They're really telling me that they are in town, but then they were not telling me when they were at this particular event that I was going to as well. Or they would out of the sudden lose their quote unquote phone and said the hamster the hamster ate it, so to say. But of course, I knew that it was just in and out. And then the next day, it's like, oh, hey, what are you doing today? And, you know, and being nonchalantly trying to communicate with me without any acknowledgement that he has not gotten back to me the day before. So this is like sort of examples of those wishy-washy man. Now, a totally different reason that will be counterintuitive for you potentially is he is getting mixed messages from you. Okay. The number four is he getting messages from you because picture this, you're going on a date and you have this parted side of you. You're afraid to be found out about something. You're afraid to be found out about being insecure or you're afraid to be found out about being inadequate or you're afraid to be found out about fill in the blank. And so he's getting like mixed messages because what's going to happen is you are actually working on putting your best foot forward, but that unfortunately means the other foot is massively covering up your worst fear. Now, what you're going to do in that moment is you are going to use cope coping me mechanisms, you overcompensate for what's happening. So for example, if you feel insecure, for example, you feel like, oh, I have not accomplished enough or I'm not smart enough, then you will overcompensate by actually mentioning all the accolades that you've received, all the uh, awards that you have won and you know, and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, that one of those um, clients that I was working with and what she would do, she would literally tell a man, <laughs> you know, and I knew exactly what she was doing because the man was actually telling me it too. And, and she was like mentioning how she was winning all the tennis championships and she was playing competitively and so on. So you are actually sending mixed sig signals, right? Because you're sending mixed signals Sign signals that I want to have this relationship. I want to see you again. I, I would love to connect with you more and so on. I'm interested in you. But then the other part is sort of like, I don't really need you. I'm very accomplished myself. I don't really need anyone. So in other words, and, and then the other piece also what you're doing too, which is really interesting, is you're actually by the, the moment you're shaking his hand or you're giving him a hug or whatever the case may be, you're also upset at him at the same time because your unconscious remembers that this is going to lead to a rejection. So your body language is going to be very similar 
to the babies that we see in a strange situation study, Mary Ainsworth did that of course, understanding the three main attachment styles we discovered at fourth one. <clears throat> in reality, there's actually 17 more, 17. So there's a lot of, lot, lot to go here. Okay, and so what happened is, right, when you see that baby, right, it's leaning half in and it's leaning half out. And so you're doing the same on a date potentially and then guess what the man is going to act wishy-washy too why because he gets those signals from you and then he feels like insecure himself he's like wait a minute is she interested in me is she not interested in me maybe i shouldn't risk too much maybe i shouldn't ask her out too much maybe i shouldn't invade too much her privacy because he may feel like he's bothering you or something else is happening so also, we're talking a lot about that in my free Magnetize Your Men Dating Support Facebook group. You can hop on over to mymfbgroup.com and we can have a longer conversation about that. Now, here is a huge, 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 and you guys, so many women come to me. I wrote this blog a couple of years ago about when a man has mommy issues. I'm getting a ton, a ton, a ton of response from that also here on YouTube as well. Now, what does that mean when a, when a man has mommy issues? He is what we call a beta male. Now, when a man has mommy issues, that means that he doesn't really trust himself, his own masculine sort of stamina, if you will. Right? He doesn't really trust that he can make the right decisions, that he can initiate anything, that he can take the lead because he doesn't want to be reprimanded. For example, if the man, and this is gonna be really interesting for you if you're dating a man like that, to just develop a little bit more compassion and then also learn, of course, with my system on how to communicate to him instead and bring out that masculine aspect, that embodied aspect, that wild man aspect, so he actually takes action accordingly. So this particular man has been emasculated by usually the mom. And so what that means is he was celebrated for the feminine aspects inside of himself. Maybe he was loving or maybe he was creative or maybe he was fill in the blank, um, but anything that was building sort of like oxytocin and so on. And so, but every time when he was actually going into his masculine, and this, this even goes to like, you know, if the mom found him with a magazine um, that, that was, you know, was maybe showed some naked women, so to say, <laughs> um, under his bed. It really depends on how the mom handled that. If she emasculated him in that moment, like also if he was taking any charge, if he was looking like the dad, right? Maybe the dad is a wild man too. And he, as, as long, as soon as he was like taking initiative himself or as soon as he needed space himself, because men, the modern and the masculine, they will need space as well. They need that independence as well. And so when he needed that, he was reprimanded accordingly. He could have also watched his mom punishing his dad for the masculine traits that the dad had. Now that then leads to him saying, you know what, it's not safe to be in the embodied masculine, but it is very safe. I'm being, I'm getting a lot of support and love and accolades when I'm in my feminine. So I'm going to like not really make decisions because in that way I can't really mess it up. I can't really get reprimanded. So, of, so leave in a comment section if that, rep, um, if that resonates with you as well, also I put a handy dandy masterclass together for you. You can hop on over to magnetizingman.com free dating webinar. And uh, we're talking a lot about what is really, uh, what's really happening for women and how can they really become magnetic to the right man and either becoming attracted uh, uh, magnetic to the right man, meaning who is already embodied, who is already taking action, who is already trusting himself. And that of course means actions match words or how to actually bring out that aspect in a man that you may be already dating because it is a dynamic. It's not stagnant. It is dynamic. Okay, let's move into number two. And that is, of course, he is 
disingenuine. Now, what that really means, oh, it's disingenuine. I said disingenuine. Okay. And what that, of course, really means is like here's something to hide, right? Something is not matching up. When we study body language, we actually see when someone can't hold eye contact, when they're telling a lie, or out of the sudden they're blinking, or out of the sun they're looking down. So they're starting to send mixed signals. They have something to hide. And of course, what that means is like you can't really, you can't really fully trust him and you can't really allow him yeah to really take a part of your heart as well and of course what that means is you have to be able to distinguish differentiate what do you, how do you feel in your body when you're with this guy right like how, how do you feel they feel like there's something off there's something going on there's something happening and you don't really know um why like i always say when a woman feels something is off something is off you know this is like just the thing like something is off and um trust that trust that you know if your body's like Ooh, something doesn't feel right um if you have goosebumps if you feel there's something tight in your chest if you feel mm, i don't know i don't feel like he's not telling me the full truth there's something that's missing then you know this is like what you're dealing with um here and then number one is, yeah, when in doubt, um, I would really act, uh, I would really guess that he's dating other people. This goes a little bit with the disingenuine that we talked about before, right? Like he's actually, you know, he has like several irons in the fire. He has different emotions around that. So maybe he feels guilty. Maybe he's leading you on maybe and then of course and when in doubt of course go ahead and you date as well because here's the thing and this is like a big breakthrough that i had was you have to get to the point where you're done with wishy-washy man when in january of 2013 and i bring this i bring the story up all the time that was my breakthrough when i attracted a man into my life like i had many and he was breadcrumbing me and I've brought this example a couple of times. He was breadcrumbing me and I said, I'm done. I'm done with the wishy-washiness. I'm done with the in and out and hot and cold. And one day you text me and one day you drop me and, you know, and the inconsistent communication and it all stayed abstract and there was never a commitment. There was never commitment language, something I teach in my course, right? It's like being aware of is your man using commitment language and that was not there so guess what i actually said you know what i'm done because my dad was wishy-washy so guess what so i thought oh by me attracting wishy-washy men i can then heal myself i can then heal my own pattern and feel like oh finally i can turn this around because of course i made it about myself that my dad was wishy-washy which of course was not true and, but what really has to occur is you need to let the hope go. The hope that your parent is going to change, that your parent is going to turn around. Only then will you be able to stop attracting wishy-washy men. And of course, we're going to go into Q&A in a moment. And of course, if you haven't done so already, take my free quiz, magnetizeyourman.com and get some juicy gifts at the end of that quiz as well so let's go ahead and pop into questions um what's going on okay awesome so we have um heather let's see what she said here magnetic to the right man is the key we have all upped our game so much that we find the men are no longer up to standard and um it depends. Yeah, it depends, right? Like, so this is the thing um, is you have to, it, this is right, Heather, right? You always attract, you always attract someone into your life. But who do you say actually yes to? Who do you actually accept into your life? Because you may attract emotionally unavailable men, but you don't say yes to them. Like even a queen, even a secure attachment style may attract that, but they're not going to say yes to it. They're going to actually happily walk away 
from that because they're like, oh, uh, no, thank you, because I need you to show up for me. You know what I mean? You, I need you to respect me. I need you to keep your word. I need to be able to trust you. And when you break that trust, you know, uh, we're probably not on the same page. So absolutely. Um, and I will say, though, Heather, that there's a lot of men that are doing the work. I think about one of the examples that I have, and this is many of many of the examples, but of my client Doris, and um, she is actually uh, also here. She I did a whole video interview with her here, and it's on, on my YouTube um, testimonial wheel. Um, <clears throat> and she met this incredible man who was actually dismissive avoidant in the past, but has worked on himself and could really speak to, hey, you know what, I normally would do this, but I'm not going to do that. Because, oh, thank you, NJ, uh, said just like a great advice, right? But, um, but I'm not going to do that anymore. So he called himself out. So there is definitely a ton of men who work on themselves. My husband worked with men for 10 years. So we've seen so hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men coming uh, through our program, coming to our workshops, doing breakthrough, um, you, whole VIP days with Brody and really facing their worst fears. A lot of them were beta males, wishy-washy, not trusting themselves and really learning to step into their wild man, uh, becoming like stepping into that, um, into that uh, sort of, what, what do you call that? Like, yeah, this destructive self because the destructive self can also protect the woman, right? That destructive aspect can also take charge, take the lead, right? Build. So it's that same kind of aspect that men have to start trusting. Uh, and Sam, yes, the life is actually safe. So it will be on um, <clears throat> here on YouTube. <clears throat> All right, ladies, this is it for today. Um, leave me any more follow-up questions that you have. As you know, I release three videos. Yes, that's three videos per week on my channel. We're doing lives here, Q&A, all of the above. So join the party. And again, we talked today about, um, let me see, I just want to quickly, for those of you just jumped on in, we talked about five reasons why men act wishy-washy. Ladies, lots of love to you. Have a fabulous week. Enjoy your dating. Stay true to yourself. Like also interrupt if you like interrupt, like just say, hey, I can't follow along right now. Or hey, I'm here too. I'm happy to receive some of your questions as well. So be true to yourself to speak to what is true for yourself. And I'm super excited. Uh, NJ just said, uh, love your videos, enthusiasm. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. And I'm super excited to see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.